it's possible and actually surprisingly straightforward to create wholly custom new transitions in SwiftUI, allowing us to insert or remove views using completely custom animations. This is made possible by a modifier transition, which can use any kind of view modifier we like. The catch is we've got to be able to instantiate the modifier, which means this has to be one that we create ourselves. To try us out, we'll make a view modifier that mimics an animation in Keynote called Pivot. It creates a new slide that where the top corner kind of spins around with a slide kind of panning out like this. And in SwiftUI speak, that means effectively creating a view modifier to rotate a view in from one corner without escaping its bounds. You want to clip to the actual shape here. We can use a rotation effect to a simple 2D animation and then a clipped modifier to stop it being drawn outside its regular rectangular space. Our rotation effect is basically the same as rotation 3D effect, except it always rotates around the z-axis. However, it does give us the ability to control the anchor point or the rotation, which means which part of the view we're rotating around. We're kind of pinning one corner and rotating around that corner, or pinning this corner and rotating around this corner, like this. See? It's down to us. Now, SwiftUI gives us a special type called unit point for controlling the anchor, where we can specify X and Y points for rotation using one of the many built-in options, like top leading, bottom trailing, center, and so on. Let's pause into some code. Like a new uh, view modifier up here with an anchor point to control rotation plus uh, the amount of rotation to apply. So I'm gonna say there's a struct here called corner rotate modifier, which is a view modifier. It'll take some kind of amount double, how much to rotate by, and an anchor, which is a unit point. Which part of the animation is pinned, the rest is moving around it. It's a view modifier, so we've got to have that body content method like that. And we'll say, take our content, apply a rotation effect on it of degrees, our amount, anchored to our anchor point, as it happens to be. But then clip it. Don't let it draw outside its regular space. So when we rotate it around, it won't suddenly leak and look weird. We can try that out straight away using the modifier transition, but it is unwieldy to use. A better idea is to wrap that in an extension to any transition, rotating from minus 90 above to zero, a regular view on its top leading corner. So I'll say here, we have an extension on any transition. Static var pivot, our new type is any transition. Inside there, we use a modifier. So modifier for active is going to be our corner rotate modifier. Amount will be minus 90, anchor top leading. And for identity, this will be corner rotate modifier, amount zero, anchor top leading, like so. And with that in place, we can now attach this pivot animation by just saying dot transition dot pivot, like we have with dot scale and dot opacity. For example, we could let's zap this current code. We could uh, have an at state property here. Private var is showing red is false. Then the body, I'm going to have a Z stack with a rectangle inside filled with a color of blue and a frame with 200 height 200. But if we're showing red, then I'll draw over that a rectangle filled with red and the same frame like this and our custom transition of dot pivot. Now we're gonna attach a gesture to this, an on tap gesture. When someone taps the Z stack, here's what should happen. So below the Z stack, I'm gonna say on tap gesture. When this Z stack is tapped, we'll do with animation, uh, here is showing red dot toggle. Flip between true and false for showing red. I press command R, and you should be able to see our new transition working nicely. It's all blue, tap on it, in slides red. Tap again, it'll go away. Third time, in it pans. So, it's our custom view modifier, spinning that red thing around, but keeping it clipped. And if you're curious what's happening, by the way, just try taking clipped away. Just like comment it out temporarily, for example, like this. And now you'll see when it isn't clipped, 
The whole view appears up here and rotates into place. Up it goes. Boom. Of course, it looks better with clipped.